Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Bookmas Day 6. Today's video, I'm super excited because I am bringing back my Kindle. I'm going to tell you all about my Kindle and then also some Kindle Unlimited books that I have read. Books that are on my Kindle Unlimited TBR that you should add to yours too. So I have my list on my phone. The first thing that we're going to talk about is my Kindle. So I'm currently reading Fourth Wing on it. This is not on Kindle Unlimited. So you do have to buy it separately. Um, I just decided to pay the extra like ten dollars, whatever it is, because I didn't want to hold the big hardcover back here. It's just so much more comfortable to hold a Kindle. I have the Kindle Paper White Signature Edition. I got the black color. I feel like black just matches everything. All of my stickers are from Redbubble. My pop socket is from Sunshine City Creative on Etsy. They have really cute pop sockets and she came out with Christmas ones and I just had to buy this because it's pink and it's like a little Christmas house. And then my case is just a clear case from Amazon. And then I also have a sleeve for it. This is from Needle Stitch Co. I found them on Instagram. They have so many different sleeves and this one has a pocket. I think this is the midi size. They have like a mini, a midi, and then a bigger one for like hardcovers. But this one fits a Kindle and then also like a paperback too. And then I like that it has the sleeve. It just has these little snow globes on it. It's super cute. And then we're going to get into the Kindle Unlimited recommendations. So first I'm going to do some Christmas books. Some of these I have not read, but some of these I have read. So I'm going to try and explain the ones that I haven't read. But I'm not going to know a ton about it because I like to go into books blindly. And I don't want to spoil anything for me. The first one, I'm going to put them right here, The Christmas Fix by Lucy Score. Really a lot of Lucy Score's books are on Kindle Unlimited, if not all of them, I think. But um, most of her books are like small town romances. This one is just a Christmas one. And then we have Jingle Wars by Maren Moore and Veronica Eden. I'm in the middle of this right now. I think I'm like 70% in. And so far... I'm enjoying it. I mean, it's just like a regular Christmas book. I don't really have any complaints. I'm not loving it, but it's just a fun book to read while also reading Fourth Wayne. I've been kind of switching between the two. Um, and then we have kind of more of a popular series that I've seen. It's Holiday Romance and then Snowed In by Katherine Walsh. I don't know anything about these, but I've just been seeing them everywhere and I know everyone loves them. So I definitely want to read this maybe this year if not hopefully i'll get to it next year um and then another popular one is the plight before christmas by kate stewart this one i have also seen everywhere i think it came out like two years ago maybe i feel like i don't know but um this one i have also seen literally everywhere and i don't know anything about it but i just know a lot of people really like it and then we have the strawberry hollow series it's The Mistletoe Bet and then A Festive Feud by Maren Moore. I think she might be the same one that co-authored A Jingle Wars, I think. The one that I'm reading right now. I think it might be the same person. I don't know. And then we have A Little Magic by Lindsay Lanza. I read this this month and I really liked it. And I think she also has her other book. It's called Speechless, I think. That one is also on Kindle Unlimited. The Holiday Stand-In by Courtney Kiesel. I have seen this everywhere. I don't know what it's about, but I think it's like a fake dating, maybe. My Xmas Emergency by Jennifer Peel. I have also seen this everywhere on Instagram. Cabin Mate by Leah Brunner. This one just looks super cute, and I think they might share a cabin together. I mean, that's what I'm assuming from the title. And then we have Resting Scrooge Face by Megan Quinn. I read one of her books. It was Big Nick Energy this year, and I, I didn't really enjoy it as much as I thought. I know a lot of people really enjoyed reading this last year, I think is when it came out. But it's a short novella, so I feel like it's just a fun book to read during Christmas. Wreck My Plans by Jillian Meadows. This one I also have seen a lot, but I don't know much about it. 
And then another one that I've seen everywhere is Season Steamings by Katie Bailey. This one, I think it looks like a hockey romance, maybe. That's what I'm just guessing. And then A Cross Country Christmas by Courtney Walsh. I feel like she's a more popular Christmas author as well because I feel like I see her books a lot. Another one that I think it came out, was this last year? The Santa Suit by Mary Kay Andrews. I see her books everywhere too and I've never read one but this one seems like it is really good. And now we're going to get into regular like romance, fantasy, Kindle Unlimited recommendations. And again, some of these I've read, some of these are on my TBR, and I want to get to them soon. The entire Eden's series by Devney Perry, Indigo Ridge, Juniper Hill, Garnet Flats, Jasper Vale, Crimson River, and then the new one that just came out, Sable Peak. And I think a lot of her books are on Kindle Unlimited, if not all of them, but I've never read one. But I have heard a lot of good things about the series. It's a small town. I think there's like a mystery maybe. Then we have the entire off-campus series by L. Kennedy. I have read this. I read this earlier like a month or two ago I think and it was okay. I It's definitely a popular book. Some people like love it and some people don't really like it but I do recommend it if you like hockey romance. It's a series where you get used to all the people in it. They show up in every single book so if you like that concept, I definitely do recommend it. Um, and then we have her new book that just came out, The Graham Effect. I think this is the daughter of one of these couples. I'm not going to say who it is because I don't want to spoil it. And then another popular author that has all of her books on Kindle Unlimited is Lauren Asher. She has the Dirty Air series, the Dreamland Billionaire series, and then her newest series, Lakefront Billionaires, is now on Kindle Unlimited too. I have not read any of them, but I am dying to read one of her books. Another hockey romance, Offside and Shutout by Avery Keelan. I have seen a lot of good things about this series. I just have not read it. <laughs> I just have so many books to read that it's hard to get to all of these amazing books, so let me know if you've read any of these. Other Lucy Score books, we have the Mr. Fixer Upper and then the Knock Em Out series. I'm sure the Knock Em Out series a lot of you have seen. It's the things we never got over, things we hide from the light, and things we left behind. I have every single one in paperback, but I, hopefully, I have the things we never got over on my TBR this month, so hopefully I'll get to it. And then we have Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. This was popular earlier this winter-ish, fall-ish. I honestly didn't know it was on Kindle Unlimited. I just saw everyone talking about it. But since it's on Kindle Unlimited, I'm definitely going to pick it up, especially when the second one comes out, and that's also going to be on Kindle Unlimited. Another series, the Chestnut Spring series by Elsie Silver. Flawless, Hopeless, Powerless, Reckless, and Hopeless. Uh, I've also heard amazing things about this. I read her first series, the Gold Rush Ranch series, and absolutely loved it. Her other series is coming out in April. It's called Wild Love, and I'm assuming that'll also be on Kindle Unlimited. We have a Tessa Bailey book, My Killer Vacation. I've heard mixed reviews about this, but I figured I'd put it on here because she's a popular author, and I didn't know it was on Kindle Unlimited, but it is. One book that I've been seeing kind of a lot is Off the Hook by Julia Olivia. This one's supposed to be like It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey, and I really enjoyed those two books. So... I want to read this to see if it compares to It Happened One Summer. Another book that I'm sure you've seen, it's Out on a Limb by Hannah Bowman Young. So she also wrote like Next to You and Next of Kin, I think, are those two books. This one is supposed to be really good, so I definitely have this on the top of my TBR list. And then this is just one that I found that I thought sounded cute. It's The One with the Kiss Cam by Cindy Steele. I don't know what this is about. I'm assuming it has something to do with a kiss cam. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just inferring. But I haven't seen anyone talk about it, but it seems cute. A thriller, The Housemaid by Freedom McFadden. I think a lot of Freedom McFadden's books are on Kindle Unlimited. I don't really like to read thrillers because I, I'm a scary cat and I get scared pretty easily. So if that's up your alley, I've heard that she writes really good thrillers. And then we have Haunting and Hunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. I heard that this series is like interesting. 
so I probably won't read it just because it doesn't seem like it's something that I would enjoy but it's popular so I figured I would add it in here a fantasy series the crowns of Nyaxia I'm probably saying it wrong but this is by Carissa Broadbent it's the serpent and the wings of night and then the ashes and the star curse king and I think there's a novella in there as well the entire Wendy City series by Liz Tomford so it's Mile High, The Right Move, and then Caught Up just came out in October. And I think there's going to be a fourth one soon, I think. Those are sports romances. The entire Kings of Sin series by Anna Huang. King of Wrath, King of Pride, and then King of Greed. I have all paperbacks of those. Kings of Sloth, I think. That one's coming out in 2024. And then we have her other series, the Twisted series. So it's Twisted love twisted games twisted hate and twisted lies i've read that entire series um it definitely gets better the further you get the first book is not good <laughs> it's not really good but i really enjoyed the second and the fourth one the best laura pavlov i heard that she's like the queen of small town romances just like devony perry i have not read anything by her but i always see her books and i'm like oh that looks so cute and so if you really are looking for small town romances, I heard to go and read her books. And then another author that writes small town romances is Catherine Cowles. I hope I'm saying that right. But her books also I've seen a lot and I heard that she writes really good small town romances. And then the Harry Potter series is on there. I have never read the Harry Potter series, but I really want to and I... I'm surprised that it's on Kindle Unlimited, so I'm going to have to read it soon. If not soon, like next fall maybe, because I feel like it's like a fall and winter type of series for some reason, but that is on there. And then all of Stephanie Archer's books are on there, so Behind the Net, the new one that just came out, The Fake Out, and then we have the Queen's Cove series. So we have that kind of guy, the Ron Mr. Wright, In Your Dreams, Holden Rhodes, and then Finn Rhodes Forever, I think is the last one that just came out. But all of her books are on Kindle Unlimited, and I love her books so much. We have the Never After series by Emily McIntyre. So we have Hooked, Scarred, Wretched, Twisted, and Frost, maybe. But these are all like retelling, so it's like a Peter Pan retelling. Um, a Lion King retelling, Wizard of Oz retelling, Aladdin retelling, and then it's the Hunchback of Notre Dame retelling, I think. I don't know, I've only read Hooked and I really liked it, but they're all on Kindle Unlimited if you're interested. And then the final recommendation, Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. This one is, it was a popular book talk book a couple of years ago, I think. I read it this past summer and I thought it was, it was decent. I wasn't a huge fan of it just because I felt like it was super long and dragged on. I do recommend it because it was a really cute story. But that is all for about my Kindle and my Kindle Unlimited recommendations. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know what your top books on Kindle Unlimited are because I'm always looking for new suggestions. I have a notes app and it's filled with all these books that I want to read. But I definitely do recommend getting Kindle Unlimited if you have a Kindle. I feel like it just, it's definitely worth the money and it definitely saves me a lot of money with buying books even though I, I still buy a lot of physical books. Please subscribe if you are not already and I will see you guys in tomorrow's Bookmas video. Bye!